Um, you're targeting 4K. A lot of users now have 4K TVs. TRX doesn't come with HDMI 2. Can you talk about the decision why, that, why you're foregoing that standard? Um, <coughs> so it has HDMI 1.4A, 1.48, uh, which covers um, most of, but not all, of the monitors in the market right at the moment. Um, I think it was, a, it was a time to market decision for us. We'll certainly look at that in the future and we'll, we'll move to, to higher standards. But right at the moment, that gives you, certainly gives you 60 hertz, um, 1080p, understand? Uh, 60 hertz, 1080p. <coughs> uh, and if you're, if you're using a monitor, you'll probably go the display port route. Uh, I've been in America too much, the display port route. <coughs> um, display port is the, um, the way that we would rather you drive these uh, graphics cards and monitors, simply because you get access to uh, FreeSync that way. You get a superior experience. You can do things like daisy chaining and going um, to the, the multi um, monitor setups that we've got elsewhere. <coughs> uh, I don't know if you want to add anything to that. Yes. Do I, do I so have we've been working with the industry to come up uh, with some active dongles that convert uh, DP 1.2 into HDMI 2.0, and those should hit the market uh, this summer. So that, that gets rid of the HDMI 2.0 not natively supported issue. Yeah. So the, the real advantage is just the extra uh, refresh rate that you get. It's not that the card can't, can't sustain that kind of refresh rate, it absolutely can. An active dongle, that'll be a nice way around it. How it's many Fury X cards can you put in Crossfire together? Uh, excellent, yeah. How many Fury X cards can you put in? Uh, the answer is four in Windows, and in principle, in Linux, you could put eight. Now, you'll need quite a beefy PC to, uh, to deliver that kind of setup. Um, but then where would the waterfalls go? If you've got four of those in the system, it'd be pretty hard to put. Or where would they go? Because they're how long is the cable between the card and the cooler? Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's longer than the 295X2. Have you tested a system with four of those in there? Uh, certainly we have run at least one. I'm aware of that because I talked to Roger Kaduri about it and uh, he has run such a system. Um, he's actually built a system which can sustain eight for, for Linux work. Um, I don't expect that that will be a standard configuration. If you did want to do that, if you were building a PC which is probably heavily customized like that, then you might actually consider taking off our stock cooling and going a somewhat different route. But if you're, if you're taking one, two, or three, that's a very doable solution. You could use those. I suspect if you're, if you're really trying to build a full GPU setup, then you're likely to customize further. So we're already working with uh, the Gen industry players who are in the uh, custom customized liquid cooling solutions and there will be some solutions where you can take this off and you know, put your own stuff on. So, so the, the hardware that we show in these early stages is always the, the reference designs. Now our board partners are free to, uh, to innovate beyond that. So this reference design is not a limitation. We don't, for example, tell our board partners you may not Fury, change things. Fury S is going to stay liquid cooled as they just Yeah. So the board partners will be able to change the cooler. What about no, the design? Fury X, no. Fury X, no. Yes. Ah, I see. So we also announced uh, the R9 Fury, um, but it's going to ship later. Um, so that's that's going to have multiple uh, VIP solutions. <clears throat> yeah, the, I guess the, the Fury X is the name that we attach to that setup. <coughs> there isn't anything to stop our board partners. We wouldn't discourage our board partners from being very aggressive about performance and uh, going going further with a cooling solution. Will it be the next generation of cards where we're going to see 8 gig? Is Fury, the, the, the current cards going to be limited at 4 gig until next year when HBM2 comes in? I think uh, we're heavily in quiet periods so and we can't really comment on <laughs> unannounced products in the future. Okay. Um, so you want me to, to stop there because I'd like to take a bit of it. Yes. All right. So Antal is my PR manager as well as my spangly swimsuited assistant, so I will uh, I won't contradict him there. Uh, can you talk about the performance difference between Fury X and Fury? Is it um, lower screen processes, lower clock speed? So more information on the Fury will be available a little bit closer to the launch, which is in mid-July. Uh, and, and yes, at that point, certainly before it comes to market, we'll be completely explicit about the differences.
more questions, or are you folks itching to get to the demos? I hope you'll say you're itching to get to the demos. All right. Um, if you're